Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. It's Mr. Ish. We're here at Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, Cordea Clubhouse. And guess what? This is a new show. I think it's our first episode, to tell you the truth. And the name of the show is Street Smarts. This is Andrew's group. I think we have an eight-year-old here. Um, and it's all going to be about Street Smarts. Please stay tuned. This is episode number one. Everyone's going to introduce themselves. And I'm going to talk about a little bit about uh, the class and uh, the new show that we're doing. So please, introduce yourself. Give us your name and your age. Hi, my name's Elena, and I'm nine. Welcome, Elena. Hi, my name is Zaire, and I'm ten. Welcome, Zaire. Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm nine. All right, Mark, you seem to be... Uh, the oldest one here, um, besides what? myself. Now, nah, my name is Mr. Ish, and I've been here too long. Um, guys, so the name of your of your new uh, show is called Street Smarts. So could someone just give me a little bit of knowledge about your new uh, your new podcast? Who wants to take it? You want to take it? Go ahead. Um, street Smarts is about um, being safe on the street and being careful who you talk to. Okay. So just being uh, uh, a little of what we call um, street smart. Uh, being educated, what's happening around you? What What else are we going to de- be dealing with in your in your podcast show? How to be safe when you're outside, or like, it, or like you're in, in like a bad situation. Okay, so how to deal with a bad situation? How to be safe? Um, anything else? If you're inside of like a bad scenario or something, like, um. You can, so if you're in, like, a bad scenario and, like, you need, like, like let's say somebody stole your phone or something, mm-hmm. like, you'll learn, like, what to do. Um, yeah, well, um, usually it's call the cops and tell somebody. But um, we'll go into the different scenarios and stuff like but, that. But you lost your phone. How are you supposed no, to No, you, you didn't say cops? lose your phone. You said you, they stole your phone. I mean, you go into somewhere, you have to, somebody else has to have a phone, in a grocery store somewhere. Or as you go home, or tell a friend. Yeah. Usually, if you're not alone, then that's also helpful. I tell um, my friend. All right, I guess you're telling me your own scenario then. Um, so, so we're gonna go over a couple of things. All right, I just want to ask a quick question so that we could just put it out there. Uh, what is the definition of street smart? I, I guess you you guys have a couple of notes. You just had a class, so you can look at your notes and your cheat notes, um, and see if you can come up with a with a good meaning. You want to try? Go ahead. Um, the definition of street smarts is. All right, we can't have no 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 dead air. So once you um, once you start talking, you gotta keep talking. It's like um, you let someone take you with your will. I, I don't I don't against understand. your will. Uh, I don't know if that's the right definition. Uh, what 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 you have there? Dealing with difficult or dangerous situations, especially in big cities. Okay, I mean, this guy happened in a small town too, but um, it's uh, anybody else wants to add to that? No, if you're not in the in the table, you can't raise your hand. What else you want to add? How to be safe, like in the street, or or, or like if you're if you're anywhere where you don't know. Anything. In your environment, it it could be anywhere. It could be your you know in the elevator. It could be walking to the yeah. boys' club. It could be in your classroom. It could be in school. It could be outside in the street in the park. It's just thinking on your feet, basically being aware of what's going on in your in your neighborhood. Um. Oh, I have another thing. Do you want to go through scenarios first? Um. Or let's just ask this question too. What are some safety uh, procedures that you followed before? You started getting these classes. Was there anything that your parents told you to do or not to do? Um, I'm going to go around the table. So we'll start off with the young lady. Um, did, did you have like a conversation with your parents at some time and they told you, you know. Never talk to strangers. Never talk to strangers. That's one of the most important ones. What about you? To not like, I, I mean, no, to call like to call them a- after school. Okay, so so they wanted to make sure that that you you were on your way home if you walk alone and stuff like that. So to call your parents, um, yeah. when you're going somewhere, what else? They practically said what I was gonna say. Okay. Um, to not talk to strangers, and uh, call your parents before you get home, and also, um, I, I. If I see someone, I think someone's, like, following me, uh-huh. I walk a lot quicker or I Ooh. start, like, 
kind of run Yeah, I mean, you, you may have to get that run on. What if they run after you? Well, then you know that they're actually chasing you. And since you're a child, yeah. like, yeah. they faster than you? I've been there before. I've been there before. I got a story. What? I got a story for that one. You want me to tell my story first? Yes. yes. All right, okay. I got to tell you my story. Um, When I was in my, my teen, I was a teenager. I was a teenager. So um, I was dating this girl. And, you know, she lived in the PJs. And it was kind of rough. But, um... <laughs> Uh, I went there and I had oh, a lot of jewelry. Just... This is when jewelry was, you know, a big deal. A lot of jewelry, chains and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I saw a group of people when I dropped her off and they were like looking at me, you know, some type of way. So I was trying to like look at the light to see how long the light is going to take to change because I had to run like two blocks because my friends were in the corner. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I turned, ar- as soon as they turned around, I guess to talk to themselves to see who's going to chase me, I started dipping. I started running. So they start running after me, but as I got closer to my friends, I had more confidence. Like, okay, now you know I'm I'm closer to my friends, so I started kind of like teasing them. Like, okay, come over here. But they saw a, a large group, so they kind of left it alone. But let me tell you something. That, that was the last time I dated that girl. Um, so yeah, we did break up. We did we did um, meet afterwards, and she's she's actually a, a good friend. But that that I told her that was the reason why I left her. Um, I was not going to drop off in the house no more. It was dangerous. <laughs> I, said, yeah. I said I ain't need that. So um, that was she could have been my she could have been my wife, but you never know. You probably have a good, better wife. Oh, uh, well, you I'm know. All right, I'm not gonna say nothing negative gonna because my wife might listen to this. Um, so do you do you have a, a story? I just want to say something because Elena said like grown ups, like the grown up might be faster than you. But a lot of kids are faster than like their parents and other grown ups. I tell you this much, if if I had to chase you, you'd probably beat me. Because I'm not gonna chase you too far. I mean, the only part the only thing the only time I could think that it won't really matter is if it's happening to you. Like if you you know, if you're in danger, then you, your body just reacts differently and you, you just start running and you have you have, you know, all this energy. Uh but if I what had if, to just chase you, like if you told me chase you in the gym around the around adult, a couple of times, not, what if the adult not even, is not a, even track a minute star. I'm going to chase you. What if the adult is a track star? All right, well, you're assuming a lot of things. You know, the person has an Olympic medal when they're chasing you. Like, how do you know? They got a jacket and it says USA on it. Like, I, uh, well, what are you telling me? Like, if they're a track star, they're going to catch you. That's, that's it. So if they're a track star and they're also stealing phones, they're probably going to catch you and run away. Uh, maybe they hurt it. Maybe they know how to hurdles too. So they hurdle over the garbage cans as they <laughs> as they as they run after you. A uh, long jump. I don't know. You you giving me a whole Olympic a whole Olympic thing. So I don't know what you're saying. Maybe they have you know how you know how in the in the side they have like all the all the trash laid out. Maybe the person just like Shh, and just hurdles over it and grabs your phone and keeps it moving. Maybe they'll pass it to someone else like a relay race. <laughs> I don't I don't know what you're telling me, but <laughs> that scenario that you that you just brought up is a little too much for me. Um, all right, I'm gonna give you a scenario. All right, oh, let's see. Okay. Let's see if you guys could, could deal with my scenario. Um, you're at a friend's birthday party, and the mother's giving out candy bags. She asks you um, if you would like a bag. What do you do? Um, hey. So I would take it and ask my mom to check it when I get home. Okay, next. I would ask if it's okay with my mom first, and then... So, so we assuming that your mother's at the birth at just the birthday like party Halloween, with you. Halloween, because my mom. Yeah. No, but Halloween is different. Uh, this is a birthday party. It, it, I know, it's but put. Still. No, it's not. The scenario is a birthday party. I didn't say at Halloween because at Halloween everyone should check all the candy because you're going into strangers' my houses. My mom will still check the candy. I would just eat it. Okay, you because would just. Because my eat mom it. would be okay with that. All right. Straight well, dead. well, no. It depends on a trusted friend. Well, the trusted? first thing is that the per- you have to know the person because you were invited to their birthday party. True. What? Okay, so so if, if you don't trust the person enough to eat their cake or their potato chips or or, 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 or the candy oh, wait, that they're giving mind, you in the bag. Mind, my scenario, I want to eat the Because cake. you're not listening to the scenario. You're creating your own scenario in your head. I want the scenario was there's a birthday party. Your friend's birthday party that you invited, and the mother's giving out, you know, candy. It's like when we give out, uh, 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 let's say, Valentine's Day candy, or when we give you guys pizza. Do you ask your mother if you can eat the pizza? No. No, no. you eat the pizza because we you, we give you food every day. Oh, so you have it. to trust us. We give you candy when you know for Christmas. We do this and that. So you're in it. a trusting environment. True. It's not. It's not like the guy is across the street at the bench and saying, "Hey, you know what? Do you want a pizza?" You don't know what that guy did to that pizza. 
You understand? Shopping we're eating, well. and, and, wow. and most of the time, we're eating the same pizza you're eating. I mean, so if something is I wrong mean, with it, this is wrong. You know, I'm eating it too. That pizza. So, so that listen, you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn you off because you're not listening to the scenario. You're creating your scenario. Let's try another one. Let me see. Uh, you and your friend are in the park playing. An old man asks you if you could show him the way to the bathroom. What do you do? We're going to start over here. I would just not talk. Like I did the, You're just going to stare at him? Yeah, I'm just going to like walk slowly walk away. And if he follows me, I'm going to ditch with my friend. Okay. What would you do? I would. Old man, you're in, the, you're in the park with a friend. Old man is asking you, can you show him where the bathroom is at? Uh, I would just say that I don't know where the bathroom is at. And then I would start walking. And if he starts like follow, following me or chasing me or keep... I keep asking if I if I knew or seen the bathroom. I would have to friend. So you would have just lied if you. But I mean, he don't yeah. know. He don't know the guy. He could lie. He could say whatever he wants to say. He could be quiet. What's your scenario? Do you, did you understand the scenario? Yes. Okay, let's start there. Let's go. What would you do? I would say the same thing as Mark. I would. I mean, as Dyer, like I wouldn't really. I wouldn't. I would say. I don't know where the bathroom is because I don't know him. Okay. You know what I would do? I would say I would point over there. And when he's looking over there, I would tell my friend, let's go. And we keep it moving. So I didn't say nothing. He's always oh, the bathroom. Over there, when he looks, yo, let's go. And we keep it that way. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, what are you asking me for? So, you know, I mean, you, you could get that attitude too, but I would just point him somewhere over there. Over there. And when he says, way over there, over there. And you go over there, yo, let's go this way. And keep it moving. So that's that's my scenario. Um, see how I did it real quick? Okay, what about this one? This is the last scenario. Um, this, this, this is a, another one. You're, you're home alone. Mom is at work. You know, you got keys. You get in the apartment, all that stuff. Um, you hear a knock at the door. But when you look to the pee hole, you can't see, um, you can't see who it is. Um, you go to sit down, and there's another knock. What do you do? So you initially went to the door. You looked. Nothing. Right? You might have said, hello, who is it? You went back, watching your cartoons, eating your snack. Another knock on the door. What do you do? Let's start with you. First thing I'm doing, right, I'm going to look, and if I can't see him, I'm going to walk back, and then I'm going to text my mom, and I'm going to ask if, if uh, if that was her at the door, if, or if she left the keys. Well, I'm pretty sure that if you had a phone and your mother knows you're in there, she will call you. Sometimes texting is not the fastest way. If someone is knocking on that door and you're home alone, you pick up your phone and you call your mother. Because she'll pick up the phone because she says, hey, he's alone by himself. Why is he calling me? Ma, someone is knocking at the door. I don't know who it is. I look through the pee hole. She will also give you directions. Or she may say, oh, yeah, I'm going to have your cousin go up there and see who that is. Or I'm going to call Miss Smith that's next door. Maybe she could see through her pee hole, pee hole, whatever, and, um, and, and see who's in the hallway. But she will give you instructions at that point. Um, I, I don't think that texting at that point is, is, is the thing to do. I would say call immediately. When something is strange, there's not, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, so yes, your mother might pick up the phone and, and worry a little bit, but she also might be like, you know what? Um, he did the right thing by calling me. But I would um, at I would look through the pee, pee hole. I think it's pee hole, right? Pee hole. Yeah, we, we saying the whole thing wrong. For a second, you said pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> pee hole. Um, and I, and if I don't see anyone, I go back and I. Do what I do. And what do you do? We don't know what you do. Watch TV. Okay, so you're just gonna stay there and watch TV. And right. and I also and if they do other knock, I call, I call my mom. Yeah, don't text them. I call my mom and then if I I call my mom and I ask her if she was expecting anybody, and if she says no, I don't even. Well, even if she was expecting somebody, she's not there. So you can't open that door at all. Um, 
What would you do? I'd call my mom and say, are you expecting a delivery or like, are you expecting for somebody to come over? And then if she says no, then I'd call my dad and be like, are you expecting anything? And then he'd be like, no. And I'd just um, probably get back to watching TV or go inside a room that's secure. Dude, yeah, like, yeah, the, Wait, you got a fallout out? shelter in your house? Hold on. I, I didn't Wait. know you had a, a security, secured room with, with steel doors in there. Wait, um, for a second. It sounded like you said that you said you was going to go to an unsecure room. No, no, she was going to a, a secure, secure room. room. Okay. She, she got a bunker. Like, she, got a, she, got a, she, got a, she got a bunker in the Bronx. Oh, it sounded like you no. said um, you know, You know what's another thing? Is that sometimes people do it, just they just do it. Oh, and and, and um, when someone knocks at the door, they'll be like, who? So the person that's knocking the person that's trying to get in there or whatever, they realize that someone's in the apartment, whether it's a little kid's voice or whatever. So even me as a, as you know, I, someone I knocks on my door, I, I, just, I just get up, I, I, I just talk. get up quietly and I look, I look like this and I keep it moving. You know what? On Saturdays, I get a lot of people knocking on my door and I call them Jehovah witness and they knock on my door and Mr. And they could hear you. You know, like if you start saying, if you start talking or the TV's on and all that. Back in the days, we used to lower the TV. That was the first thing we did. You yeah. lower it. Someone knock on the door, you'd be like, volume down. You'd be like, oh, you just mute it? Yeah, also, and, then like, you, and then you just creep to the to the door and you see who it is. And then you and then you, and then you leave. So, so guess what? Maybe uh, I turn the light off to make people. But then no one's going to know with the, you, the light off. The door's closed. How he's gonna know the light is on and the light is off unless you have a, a glass door that he can see the shadows or something. Maybe if you're like in a house. Well, if you're in a house, it's totally it's, it's totally different because as as he knocked on the front door and you're going to the front door, he's going to the back door to to try to get in. So houses are different. The security in the houses is, is you need an alarm and it's, it's a whole different different thing. I don't like I don't like houses that in the front they have glass doors. So they can see your shadow. They can see everything. So it's like, why you? Gonna, you can see when the light turns on. I was like, why would you put a glass door like in the front? Like that's. I mean, some people do it for the way it looks. It's pretty, but I say straight steel wood door. Uh, you don't need to know nothing when about. When I me. used to have a house, I used to just like, um, have a door after the glass door so that nobody could see inside. Oh, you had double door. Oh, you, you, yeah. you bunk it up. You bunk it up. Guess what? So, uh, in Connecticut, that. That's like something that that my aunt has. She has like these things, and she put it in front of the door as soon as she's about to go to sleep, so that that prevents anybody from trying to get in from any way. What what she puts uh, like a, a police it, lock? No, it's in, like in Spanish we call it polilaca. No, it's, it's, it's like it's a like, bar and the, and the door. That's awesome. it, yeah, it's sort of like a bar, and she puts it. Yeah, and there was also one time where it was like one in the morning, somebody knocked. And they kept knocking, 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 and the parents. Have you ever had a, a person that you do know knock on the door and you don't want to answer? Yeah, <laughs> that happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that happens that a happens. lot. Someone knocking the door, you be like, oh, I don't want to deal with this person. Right now. There was this one time where I um heard somebody knocking on the door, but I waited like a few minutes and I at, like I didn't even ask my mom. And my mom got mad at me because I opened the door and oh, kind of went danger, to, danger. Go, uh, to go and get the package. Um, and my mom was like, why did you do that? You couldn't have gotten kidnapped. Yep. And I was like, Danger, Oops. danger. All right. So this is, a good, this is a good podcast. We could go on talking about all these scenarios. But what did we learn about our first episode? What is the one thing that we need to carry with us in our little brain of... Uh, street smarts. Give me one thing that 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 we should that we should tell our listeners to make sure they do. Um, safety, and you also gotta be like smart. You gotta be smart. You have to think on on your. You have to think on your feet and be aware that there's there's things happening around you. Well, what's something that we should tell our listeners to make have, sure they do? Have smart decisions and check your surroundings. Beautiful. Uh, if you hear a knock on your door, make sure you check it before you open make sure door? you check it before you open the door. What do you mean check what? The door's already closed. No, like check through the peephole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. check the peephole. It keeps sounding like and this is people. and this is um uh, one thing that I tell you, um be aware of your surroundings, as soon as possible. Learn your parents' telephone number. 
not on a piece of paper, not <laughs> on your phone, because if your phone dies, you have nowhere to call your parent. If your someone phone. takes your phone, how are you going to call your parent when, you're, when it's locked into your phone? You don't know their number. So learn their telephone number. I know my as a, as a parent, I actually do. Okay, as a parent, this is the first thing I would tell you. Learn your parent's telephone number, okay? I, I already we all, Do we all agree on that one? Yes. I, okay. I already so do I. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, my peoples. Anything else? Bye. No? Bye. That's true. Learn how to read street signs. All right, guys. Thank you I very much. How to read street signs. Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. check. All right, Street Smarts, episode one. Stay tuned for more.